but it would help me by teaching me that you may not know the answer to this problem, but if you're willing to go out and work and find someone who does, you can achieve an incredible amount of things. I'm the active CEO and co-founder of Helaponics, and we provide consumers with the GrowPod, a rotary aeroponic appliance that allows them to have a greenhouse in their home and grow their own food. My co-founder, Ivan Ball, and I were simply building this as a hobby in our dorm rooms. This is a genuinely sought after ability to be able to have control of your own food supply. And that's when we realized that we had a real opportunity to scale a business from this idea. We use aeroponics, which sprays the roots. They're able to get plenty of ambient oxygen from just the air in the room. So we eliminated the likelihood of root rot, but we also have a self-cleaning apparatus that is significantly more energy efficient than anything before. Purdue made a giant leap in investing into our company when we won our first business plan competitions. That was a massive leap, I think, for them to take a risk with the startup and a massive leap for ourselves to hear that someone said, you have an idea and we want to see you follow through with that. And that opportunity is rare and it's uniquely at Purdue. We've designed a farm that uses many of the utility patented concepts in our domestic high-tech version to make a cheap, durable, low-tech version for Africa, uh, funded by the Department of State through the Mandela Washington Fellowship. And since we've created our farms and given lectures and actually given away the blueprints for these low-cost African farm designs, I have an incredible amount of people telling me thank you for showing me how to grow food vegetables that would have never been able to grow in that climate, food that people have never tasted in these areas, they now have. And they've got a lot of sunlight, so there's no need for us to have grow lights there. And we use hydroponics to add the soil quality uh, characteristics that they simply don't have there. So we've left footprints truly around the world, and I have to say it's a powerful experience when someone contacts you and says thank you for this food. Thanks to Purdue, I had the courage to pursue my business idea and turn it into a venture-funded enterprise. That was Scott Massey. Look for more stories at purdue.edu slash footprints.